Thank you, Mr. Chairman, for this opportunity to present the subject to your audience. I must apologize that my Bulgarian is not very good. My English is a little better, so we'll manage, I hope. The subject I'm going to present is testing the inclination of deep foundations, which is a part of the discipline of pile integrity testing. Now, my definition for pile integrity is complying with the drawings and specifications regarding pile material and pile geometry. Let's skip the subject of pile material and talk about geometry. A pile can be too short. It can have some necking, which means that the cross section is reduced. And a pile can be also inclined. It can deviate from the vertical. Now, what's wrong about deviating from the vertical? Few things. And this is the reason why most or all piling specifications limit the allowable deviation of piles from the vertical. For instance, this is part of the drill shaft manual of the Federal Highway Administration of America. They allow a deviation of one and a half percent for piles in soil and two percent in rock. One of the reasons that uh, the inclination is limited, you can see in this drawing. Let's have an inclined pile with a load of 3000 kilonewton. Now we have the green line here is the actual load that the pile is designed for. But in addition, we have this red diagram which shows the bending moment on this pile, which is not supposed to carry any, any bending moments at all. And this blue line is the shear forces, which also are above the design load on the pile. So this is one reason for limiting, limiting the inclination. The other reason I think becomes clear from this drawing. This is the underground parking basement in an urban area in town. And parking is very limited, as you know. And what happens if the walls of this basement are not vertical? and deviate inside. In this case, you can lose certain parking spaces and uh, where the authorities are strict, you can have problems with your uh, building permit. So these are two good reasons uh, to limit our inclination. Here are some uh, board piles that you see that are very far from being vertical. Here is another example of a diaphragm wall element. You see each element has its own deviation from the vertical. Which of those is the vertical one? I don't know. I'll show you now uh, an example from my practice. Measurements were taken on the deviations of a retaining wall consisting of piles. At the ground level, the deviation of these piles was 265 millimeters. Four meters lower, the deviation of this pile is already almost 400 millimeters. Going down three meters, it's almost 500 millimeters. And Going down, it's even deeper and more serious. Now, 640 millimeters is a large deviation and can cause the loss of parking spaces in our basement. So here is another example of second pile wall where the deviation can be even more uh, critical. 
because these files must be very accurately vertical to cut inside each other. This is the reason why the English or British uh, standard limits the inclination allowable in uh, second files to 200, one in 200, which means one half of 1% from the vertical. How do we measure the inclination? In the good old days, this was our system. Not uh, too much electronics, very little software, and of course you couldn't go very deep with it, and you couldn't do anything if your hall is filled with bentonite, like many piles are today. Therefore, uh, we must have something more modern. This is a rig from power that is uh, equipped already with an inclination measuring uh, instrumentation in two directions, X and Y. Here is a typical result. You see that up to about 30 meters depth, the hole was pretty vertical. And somehow, for some reason, it started deviating. Probably the operator managed to fix it because uh, then the hole was much more vertical. If you have a finished excavation, there are several uh, systems on the market for measuring the inclination. This is CODEM, which is very popular in the Far East. It's a very heavy instrument. You have to put it exactly on the center of the pile. This is the casing at the top of the hole. And uh, it works on the principle of ultrasonic distance measuring in two directions, X and Y. This is something more sophisticated, the sonic caliper from America. It's also lowered inside the center of the hole and it measures the uh, distance to the side walls in 360 degrees. These are the pendulum systems. Now, the advantages, they map the excavated profile. This is, of course, of much interest to contractors who want to know exactly how much concrete they will need. The drawbacks are bulky. The cordon must be moved around by a crane, it must have a separate generator for the electricity. They are limited to open boreholes. So if you have a finished pile or you have a driven pile that is not open, it cannot be used. They are good only for wet holes with bentonite. And of course, they are limited to inclinations to a certain amount because a larger inclination will make your uh, pendulum scrap the walls of the hole. This is the reason why we uh, started to develop our own system, the BIT, Borehole Inclination Tester. And this is the inclinometer, inclinometer system. Now, this is the whole sensor of the BIT it is connected to the instrument with the automatic depth meter and it is uh, connected to the drilling bucket you see here, which serves as a uh, centralizer. The drilling bucket follows the axis of the hole and the sensor measures the inclination in two directions, X and Y while the built-in uh, gyroscope measures any rotating movement. This is the same sensor which is lowered into access tubes uh, concreted into the pile for ultrasonic cross-hole measurements. So these uh, tubes are 50 or 55 millimeters in diameter and the sensor is small enough to penetrate these tubes 
with a special centralizer. The, the whole test is recorded on a data logger that's not more than a regular uh, Android smartphone. And these are the results that you see in the screen. This is the top view. You see that the hole deviates to north northwest direction. And this is a side view. These lines show the deviation uh, allowed by your specifications. Advantages of the bit. It's light and portable. It's applicable to open holes of all sizes, wet or dry. It's applicable to board piles, driven piles, and even sheet piles using access tubes. Just to remind you that some uh, concrete piles, uh, precast piles, have a central hole used for wetting, uh, sorry, for jetting the pile when the going goes rough. And sheet piles can be also controlled with uh, two inch or 50 millimeter steel tubes welded to the sheet piles. And the system is applicable to both vertical and raked piles of all inclinations. Drawworks, just one that I know of. The system doesn't measure the pile profile. The system is standardized by ASTM in standard D8232-18, which uh, shows both uh, our bit system, the inclinometer system, as an option also the pendulum systems. Uh, I must admit that I was member of the team that wrote this standard. Thanks for watching. Any questions, Mr. Chairman? Thank you for your presentation, Dr. Amir. Very interesting. Interesting. Do you have any questions? Any questions? So, no questions. Thank you. Yet one time. Okay. I think. Uh... I must have uh, kept my time limit and at this time of the day, after so many lectures, it should be, I think, welcome by the audience. So thank you again for the opportunity to present the subject to you. Thank you. Thank you. Dovizdenek.